Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today we get a chance to check out the C1, the Crusader C1 Spirit. Excited to finally get my hands on it. Just wanted to give you guys my very first impressions on it. Didn't get a chance to actually see it yesterday. Well, I saw a little bit of it, but I uh, didn't really get a chance to have too much time with it. So, just wanted to do this quick video just to give you guys um, my first impressions on it. Um, as we saw with the A1, the same level of sleekness, exactly the same look exterior. Um, when you look at the exterior, it's just that on the top here, you could see the tractor beam right there, which is really cool. I like, I like the way it looks. It's really cool. Really cool looking device. Really, really cool looking device. Okay. So let's see. Can I track? Okay. That's just for weapons. Okay. Okay. So um yeah so this is just the exterior same as the a um the a1 so not anything new here but it's still a beautiful looking ship very very fast very very nimble very quick as we have with the a1 and um what's awesome about this i i didn't realize that it actually has four guns that the pilot controls so that's really good for multi-purpose uh, as a multi-purpose vehicle okay um, but what makes this, uh, what, uh, makes this ship, this ship shine is its cargo, um, capacity. I forget the actual amount of SEU, but it's very roomy. All of this, we already know because we've seen the A1. If you already seen the A1, then all of this is standard. Okay. Um, but what's really cool about this is all of this cargo space is really good really really good it looks like maybe it could fit 232 seu containers maybe the long ones i think and um it also has these airlocks here so let's open that All right and then back here you have your standard components here okay and um what I kind of wish, I guess they can't really change that. What I kind of wish was, I noticed that the space here, right, is smaller than in here, the airlock here. So you actually have more room here than the actual entrance. So I think it, it may still work if you're trying to fit a 32 SCU box in here one at a time and then just put it over to the left and put one over to the right. Maybe I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do it, but we'll have to see. Let me open this. Uh, so what I notice is the console here from the A1, it isn't here. So that makes me believe that the console there is probably going to be for the bombing mechanic of the A1, which they haven't yet enabled. So, so the tractor beam will come back here and roll down here if you want to operate it in that way. So we're going to go see the tractor beam real quick. Okay, so power is on. So I think you deploy and then enter remote turret. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So this is the tractor beam. I don't have anything to operate it with, but once you click it, it remains on until you click again to turn it off. So um, right now, and what's awesome about this is you can you can literally grab something and pull it in here like this that is awesome that is awesome really cool really cool what is the key bind to switch is it r is it alt k okay yes that's uh we have to do it manually There you go. And you can have it front facing or you can get all of this angle as well. So it's really cool. So it says here it's maximum range is 150 meters. So that's pretty, that's pretty far. I think that's a lot better than the, uh, um, D 
the multi tool currently. So, and uh, it's one mega newton um, of force with a max angle of 60 degrees. So, that's that's really cool. Okay, that is awesome. All right, so yeah, that's what I wanted to do real quick just to give you guys my very first impressions of it. I really like this ship. I think this is going to be my daily driver. Uh, most likely will replace the MSR. Simply with the fact that like you have all of this like. Hold on. It's so easy to traverse through this ship. It's like a lot of people don't even realize how much more simpler it is. Can I just keep this thing open? Lock it like that keep this open and I don't have to worry about these doors you know what I mean and it's like just one door essentially and then you're out the MSR is it's like 30 doors <laughs> I'm exaggerated but still like you know what I mean like the MSR it's like it's too many doors you gotta wait for but this is just straight you're gone straight through you're done no elevator nothing so that's what makes this uh a very useful ship i think that there's gonna be we're gonna see this in the verse a lot especially cutlass owners I, see, I feel like a lot of cutlass owners are gonna be switching over to this thing because i think you have even more space to work with in terms of cargo capacity than a cutlass plus you have the four guns for the pilot and then you have the tractor beam for multi-role purposes so it's a nice ship you guys let me know down below make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video